My name is Patrick Buckley. I'm a sports medicine surgeon at University Orthopedic Associates. Femoroastabular impingement uh, is a condition of the hip that causes pain, often in the front or the groin of many uh, athletes. And the cause of that is because of an abnormally shaped ball and socket. Uh, the socket can often be overcovered or have more bone on the front and the outside part of the socket, as well as an abnormally shaped femoral head that when the hip comes up into flexion can cause impingement and can damage structures of the hip. FAI is a condition that frankly we really are still learning about. Um, it's a condition that most of us believe uh, has some relation to the amount of stress and volume of activity that you're placing on your hip, especially when your growth plates are open. So those young athletes that are doing a lot of volume of activity often can develop that cam deformity in response to that um, stress that they're putting on their hip. So a patient who presents to me who has FAI often will complain of pain in the front of their hip or their anterior hip. Um, they often have that groin pain and the pain can sometimes actually radiate even to the back of their hip. Um, oftentimes they'll have symptoms of uh, catching, locking, or clicking. And those mechanical symptoms can be a sign that there may be a label tear or other um, structures that are damaged from the impingement of their hip. After a thorough history and physical, my next step is really to look at the anatomy of that patient's hip. I'm gonna do that with x-rays that I can obtain in the office. And that'll give me an understanding about what the shape of the ball and socket are for that patient. I can evaluate them for signs of impingement, signs of arthritis, and if we continue to have symptoms, the next step would really be to look at the soft tissue structures of the hip, and that'd be something I would obtain an MRI for. Um, that will give me a really good idea of what the cartilage and the labrum look like of their hip, and that will allow me to really offer them the best treatment plan to get them out of pain. The connection between FAI and arthritis is something that most of us believe is there, but we're still trying to understand the long-term data on this. Uh, we do believe that with FAI, you do have a correlation with labral tears, cartilage damage, and that over time, that can lead to arthritis. Uh, we're still learning how that can be uh, related to the natural history or the long-term effect of this, um, but most of us do believe that intervening for a young patient does have the potential to help them prevent arthritis over time. The treatment options for a patient with femoroastabular impingement really begin with non-operative measures. I usually begin with anti-inflammatory medication, and really the mainstay of non-operative treatment is physical therapy. And the goal of physical therapy is to help rebalance the muscles around the hip and to strengthen those muscles to hopefully help get that patient out of pain. Uh, for many patients, that works, and that's really all they need to help uh, return them to the activities and help uh, relieve their symptoms. But for some people, their pain continues. And for those patients, I would likely offer them a hip arthroscopy. And what that is is a minimally invasive tool which allows me to enter the hip joint and evaluate the reason for their pain. I can evaluate their labrum, I can evaluate the bony structures that are causing their symptoms, and ultimately repair the labrum with small anchors uh, in suture that goes around the labral tissue, as well as reshaping the bony anatomy that's caused their impingement. And for most patients, that helps relieve their pain and helps return them to the activities that they want to do. The post-operative recovery course following hip arthroscopy is something that really begins with physical therapy. Uh, I like my patients to go to physical therapy on the first day after surgery, and the main goal of those first few weeks with physical therapy is to work on motion of your hip. Uh, the therapist is gonna do things called circumduction exercises with your hip, where they're moving your hip um, passively, and those are things that are continued uh, with your family members at home as well. Um, after the first three to six weeks, then you're gonna really begin to work more on strengthening of your hip. Um, that will continue and carry you through to the uh, three to four month time frame. And for most patients to return to full activities, sporting things that they're really looking to get back to, that time frame is around four to six months following surgery. 